Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why with all of the other competition out there on the market, that I am still using Photoshop as my go-to program for illustration and design. And honestly, the main reason is that my natural slash realistic drawing ability is not really that great. And I mean, I have a fine arts degree in design, but if you ask any of my professors in university um, in drawing, painting, or sculpture, I'm sure that they would all confirm that I had no special talent. So keeping that in mind, I have spent the last six plus years exploring Photoshop, creating techniques and resources for myself first of all, and also for other designers that help me to overcome my own limitations and then bring to life these ideas and these visions that I have in my head. So simply all of my techniques, tips, tricks, and hacks are in Photoshop. But here's the kicker. It is not possible for me to recreate these techniques in any of these other programs. So let's get right into the top three reasons. So number one is layer styles. And you know, starting back in 2014, I created a bunch of really popular, amazingly crafted layer styles that let me add gold foil, texture, gold effects, sparkle, shine, and depth to my illustrations. And yes, technically, I could take these patterns and export them as a JPEG and use a clipping mask in programs like Procreate and apply a similar kind of effect, but I have hundreds of them. And I keep them really nice and organized in my Creative Cloud libraries for handy reference. And so often when I'm in the middle of an illustration or a design, I'll just start clicking through and see, one works, see which one works for my design or illustration. And it literally takes me seconds to go through tons of different layer styles until I find the one that I love. And I can't imagine doing that in a program like Procreate. I would have to either um, import an image every time I wanted to try a different effect or have a ton of unnecessary layers. And honestly, I would lose so much time and as much as I've progressed in my illustrations and I've really specialized in brushes, I still use layer styles all of the time. So number two is wet paint mixer brushes. Now it's kind of crazy because a lot of people even now are not taking advantage of these amazing color blending brush settings that have been in Photoshop since forever. And why, why are they so cool, you might ask? Because some of the other programs like Procreate have wet settings and you can blend and mix colors. So what's the big deal? Well, I will tell you. It's really simple because in Photoshop, you can sample multiple colors at the same time. This is awesome. And this allows you to make some really amazing dimensional color blending brush strokes and play even with texture within the brush strokes. It's awesome. So after I started playing around and exploring Photoshop brushes, I was getting more and more, you know, moving from layer styles into brushes. And I was thinking to myself, why aren't people using these settings? It's crazy. And a few years ago when I launched my wet paint studio, designers and illustrators were going crazy um, at these new brushes. And ever since then, I just keep innovating more and more. And after that, I created my wet paint iridescent brushes that lets the user of any level to create these amazing iridescent brush strokes. And then most recently was my 24 karat gold brush magic collection which lets you paint with this live gold and mix it and have creamy strokes, dry strokes. It's super cool. So um, I just love it. And the thing is, is if you go into these other programs, 
they, yes, they have wet settings, but they still only allow you to pick up one color at a time. So all of these cool brush strokes that I've been creating, it's just simply not possible at this point with those other programs. And of course, I have to save the best for last, the big daddy number three is my color blending impressionist brush technique. And in case you weren't aware of it, there's a tool that has been in Photoshop for ages and a lot of people are not using it, but it is pure magic. And that tool is the pattern stamp tool. So the cool thing about the pattern stamp tool is that if you select the pattern stamp tool and then choose a brush, whatever colors are in your pattern that you've defined, the colors will come pouring out of your brush stroke. Now, the thing is, is that if you grab any old brush um, off of your Photoshop brush panel and try this, it is probably not going to look very good and you're just going to have these bandy brush strokes going down. But um, after a lot of experimentation, I discovered a way to engineer these brushes so that all the colors will come out in amazing color blending impressionist brush strokes. And you have all of this color blending going on while you're painting a single stroke. And I have done so many different brush collections utilizing this principle and this technique. And it started off when I launched my Modern Impressionist Brush Studio. And then I created more and more collections based on this technique. I created watercolor ones, floral ones, lace brushes, textile ones, iridescent brushes, and most recently tie dye, which were really cool. Speaking of this pattern stamp tool, I also developed a really revolutionary technique and set of brushes that let you start with any photo or image. And as you paint over it, the brushes use that photo underneath as a guide and let you create really cool impressionist works of art with um, really without having to draw anything. And the cool thing is, is that you can actually create directional brush strokes and there's so many different possibilities, it's amazing. But the best part of it is it doesn't feel computer generated and you really get to express your artistry with these brushes. So it is a lot of fun. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry, I will have the links down below. And actually I've collaborated with Adobe and you can download samples of my Modern Impressionist brushes as well as the Instapressionist brushes for free on their website. So there you have it. In case you've been treating Photoshop like your tired old spouse and maybe out there flirting with some other programs, I'm here to remind you to look at what's right in front of you, maybe with some fresh eyes, because Photoshop is amazing. And anyway, I would love to know what you think, so let me know down below in the comments. And I don't want you to think of, that I'm disparaging other programs because they are amazing too. But to quote Cher from Clueless, it's a personal choice that every woman or man needs to make for themselves. And at least for me, Photoshop is still my number one.